Welcome to Quick Tips guys. Today we're going to be making a quick vlog intro. So let's go new project and I'm going to just create a 30 frames a second sequence over here. All right, so what I'm going to do is go into titles and first of all, just bring in any sort of random bumper. Uh, the reason for that is just to hold down the forward at the bottom. I'm actually just going to disable it, but it's going to be, in, but that's going to enable us to move our titles around a lot easier. So we're going to be looking for this title over here. We used it in the past and that's just the drifting title, which has the fast move followed by the subtle movement left and right of the two titles. Let's bring that in. And I'm just going to zoom in here. All right, so what we're going to do, first of all, we want to use the bottom title first. So I'm going to double click on this title and delete it, then double click on subtitle. And this is what we're going to have. There's just going to be vlog 015. And then I'm also going to just make the text quite a bit smaller. Let's just check if this is fit to grid. Yeah. So the next thing I'm going to do is just make sure that the anchor point is set below the title. You can see right now it's above. So you just go into your title settings and change the, by the baseline until it's a until the text is above that. And now we can actually start moving it. What I then want to do is just copy and paste the title. I'm just going to move it back into position here. And what I want to do with this title is change the font weight. So instead of being medium, it's going to be bold. Now let's create compound clips for both. So the top one will be bold and the bottom one will be medium. Okay, so what I'm going to do is reposition this down here for the start, and I'm also just going to maybe scale it a bit. So we're going to be messing around with the keyframes a bit. So we can start at frame one. I'm going to set a keyframe at 119 and then the position over here, then have it come in. Then I'm going to scale it down a bit, but also just reposition it so it's still there at the start. So let's see, that's the initial movement. Then it's going to come in subtly until frame five. Then again, we're going to set a keyframe for scale and position, then go forward a frame, and then I'm going to scale it quite large. I'm going to leave a frame after that, so frame seven, is uh, there's nothing, but also remember to set a keyframe for position at six. So seven, there's no change. Then at eight, we're going to scale it down. Uh, then nine, again, we're going to scale that down. Now I'm going to go back to frame seven, and this is when we're going to start you see I set a keyframe at position because now we're going to start moving it a little bit over to the right. So now we've got about 10 seconds or rather 10 frames of animation. Let's just initially look at that. What I want to do is actually change it over to the other font weight. So at frame 10, what we're going to do is hit alt and close bracket while selecting it in order for it to end there. Then I'm going to select the top title, hit V to re-enable it and then hit alt open bracket so that it starts over there. And I'm going to tr just try and line this up with that title. So reposition it and scale it until it fits with the previous title. I'm also just using the arrow keys to move back and forth to make sure that it is sort of lining up with that. All right, so that's pretty similar. So let's hit a, f a keyframe for position and then scale. Uh, then I'm going to keep going ahead and scaling it down subtly until it's sort of in its position. Go back and then start animating the position. Go quite a big jump there then also over there and then have a sort of more subtle softer movement towards the end let's see how that looks all right so we've got that movement there now what we're going to do is start the movement upward and we'll do that from frame 23 so i'm going to set a keyframe there and start out the animation very subtly move it up and that's going to be followed by quite an impact and that's going to be followed by quite an impact of movement. You can see that we're already starting to climb here and all of a sudden it hits its absolute maximum acceleration and then it's just going to start to hit a speed bump and then slow down into position. Cool, that's looking good. Let's bring in a second drifting title and what this is gonna be for is the second text that's gonna come at the bottom left. Now, for the first title, what we did was edit subtitles. So this time we're gonna edit title. So let's first double click on subtitle, delete that. And then I'm going to go, uh, then I'm gonna select title, double click that, and I'm just gonna type New York. Then I'm gonna make the font quite a lot smaller. 
And we won't have to change the anchor point for this one because it's already at the bottom. But at the same time, we're also not animating scale. So that doesn't really matter. So now what I want to do is get the endpoints in here. So it should be round about there where it will end up. And I just want to find the point over here. All right, so we'll have it animate into position round about 106. So we'll start the position there. Then again, like we did previously, just make it end subtly. But then obviously before that is going to be quite the rapid uh, movement that we saw with vlog with the vlog text. All right, so this is going to be quite quick when it comes in. Okay, cool. Um, I'm also going to create a compound clip for that one. And I'm just going to call that title two. Okay, now I'll just hit command R. And I want to slow down by 50%. And that's just because the movement was too quick. And now we can have it a little bit more subtle. Uh, then I'm going to cut it over here as that's when the animation starts. There we can reposition it so that it starts moving in as the first title moves up. Maybe just move that out two, three frames. And that looks great. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next one.